Hi everyone, welcome back to Angela's Pilates. So I'm really excited to start the 14 day challenge with you today. I know a lot of you are in isolation, so I thought that we could do a 14 day Pilates challenge, a, Pil a Pilates class every day, and of course I'll be here to guide you through it. All you need to do is to commit and join me every day and have a positive attitude. So today is day one. Come on, Dosh. Off you go. So I'd like you to start off by lying down. So arms in front of you, feet hip distance apart, take a breath in. Exhale, tuck your tailbone under and we're going to slowly lower down, bone by bone. Lower your head. I'd like you to bring your feet in a little closer towards your buttocks. And I'd just like you to, we're going to start off with the fundamentals of Pilates, whether or not you're an experienced practitioner or a beginner. It's really good to bring it back to basics and especially in the stressful time we're living in. So let's start off by closing your eyes. I'd like you to take a moment to be aware of the space around you. And now I'd like you to bring your attention into your body and just be aware of how your body feels right now at this time. Let's just forget about what's happening in the world and take this time just to focus on ourselves. So let's start off by the breath. Pilates, it's really important to use your breath. So I'd like you to place your hands wide on your rib cage. You can keep your eyes closed if that feels good for you. Let's spread your fingertips. I'd like you to take a breath in through your nose and feel your rib cage expand into your hands. I'd like you to exhale out your mouth, interlink your fingers and feel your ribs become smaller. Let's go again. Breathing in. Feel the ribs expand into your hands. Now exhale out your mouth interlinking your fingers and feel the rib cage become a little smaller. This time, as you breathe in, feel the in-breath come into the sides of the body and into the back. As you exhale, lengthen that out-breath. Just take it out a little bit longer than you'd like and feel the rib cage soften and close. Let's do one more here. Breathing in, Deepen that in-breath and just be aware of where that in-breath is going. Now lengthen that out-breath, softening and closing the ribs and feel the fingertips interlink. Beautiful. Now just relax your arms beside you. Lift your shoulders right up to your ears. Now walk your fingertips towards your heels and I'd like you to flatten your scapula on the mat. Bring your awareness to your pelvis. It needs to be in a neutral place, which means your pubic bone and your hip bone should be on the same level. You should have a little pocket of air between that lower spine and the mat. Just following the natural curvature of your spine. We want to think about softening and closing those ribs. And I'd like you to nod your chin so your neck is long and your chest is open. And now let's close the eyes. Just be aware of how your body feels. And I'd like you to take your fingertips to the base of your skull. See your elbows in your peripheral vision. I'd like you to nod your chin so you're looking at your thighs. Make sure you're not using your neck to do that. And as you exhale, I'd like you to lift a little higher, taking your hands underneath your thighs. Now physically use your arms to lift your chest higher, pushing the breath out. Then hold the chest lift, bring your biceps to your ears, pause, hands come to the back of the head, make sure you can see your elbows, and then lower, slowly down. Let's do that again. Exhale, you're nodding your chin, looking at your thighs. Hands underneath the thighs, using the breath, using the arms, we lift a little higher, no neck. Bring the biceps to the ears, try and keep the chest lift, 
hands behind the head, pause, and then lower the whole shape down. So you wanna make sure you're not taking it in your neck. Two more here. Exhale, let's think about lengthening. Hands underneath the thighs. Use the arms to assist you in getting a little bit more lift. Look at your thighs. Keep the chest lift, biceps to the ears. Hands behind the head, and then we lower the head and chest down. You have one more here. Exhaling, lengthen, eye gaze towards your thighs. Hands underneath your thighs, and then we lift a little higher. Pause, arms to the ears, pause, hands behind the head, and then we lower down. Beautiful. Now I'd like you to take your hands beside you. Give me an inhale as we push the lower back into the mat, rolling the hips towards the ribs. Now breathe out, pulling your navel down. So here you want to feel the lower back connect to the mat. And then on the inhale, you're going to lengthen the tailbone away from your crown and make sure you come back to that little pocket of air. So just be aware of the simplicity of this move. Be aware of your breath. Be aware of your abdominals. So let's take a breath in, and then we push the lower back into the mat. And then exhale, we breathe out and we pause, pulling the navel down. And then we lower the tailbone away from the crown and find that neutral place. Let's do two more here. Inhale, we roll the hips towards the ribs, pushing the lower back flat. Exhaling, see if you can deepen by pulling your navel towards your spine. Try not to engage your buttocks here. And then lengthen the tailbone away from the crown. Let's do one more. And we inhale, roll the hips towards the ribs, pull the navel down on the exhale. See if you can think about softening and closing the ribs here. And then lengthen the tailbone away from the crown. Let's do one more. Breathing in, roll your hips towards your ribs, connecting the lower back to the mat, and exhale, pull the navel towards the spine. And then reach away. It's a really nice basic move to help you connect to the breath and to abdominals. Now we're going to deepen that. Breathing in, we roll the hips towards the ribs. We initiate, initiate the glutes to lift your hips. A little bit of resistance with those arms and we peel up bone by bone, coming all the way up onto the top of your back. Take a moment here. Soften and close your ribs. Long line from your underarm to your hip to your knees. Take a breath in. Now as you exhale, melt the sternum down and replace the vertebra, bone by bone. Lower back touches, and then lengthen the tailbone away from your crown. Let's go again. Breathing in, push the lower back into the mat. Exhale, initiate the glutes to lift, and you want to peel each and every vertebra off the mat. At the top of the roll, make sure your knees are running on tram tracks. A little bit of resistance with those arms. Take a breath in, and then exhale, or replace the vertebra. And really be aware of how your body feels. And be aware of connecting to the glutes, the hamstrings, the posterior chain of the body. Two more, inhale, push the lower back into the mat. Exhale, initiate the glutes to lift, and we're rolling up, bone by bone. Energy coming out through the knees, close the ribs at the top. Take an inhale and then exhale, melt down slowly, bone by bone. Try and let go of the tension in your shoulders and your neck and then lengthen the tailbone away from the crown. If your shoulders have shifted, just pull them away from your ears. We have one more. Inhale, push the lower back into the mat. Exhale, squeeze the buttocks and we lift up. Weight between the shoulder blades, ribs are soft and closed. Take a breath in. And then exhale, we melt down slowly, bone by bone. Lower back touches, and then we lengthen the tailbone away from the crown. Beautiful. I'd like you to bring your knees together now. Lift your heels and come up onto your toes. Take your arms above your chest. Now take your arms out. I'd like you to aim for a T. I just have the wall in the way here. So both arms in a T. I'm going to take mine to a low V. Take a breath in, stack your knees and lower them towards me. Watch that opposite shoulder blade. And then exhale, initiate your abdominals, close your ribs and bring your legs back to the center. And let's go to the other side. So you're keeping your toes connected towards the mat. And if you'd like, turn your eye gaze to the opposite side to your knees. Then exhale, zip up your inner thigh. Really feel the abdominal connection here. It's a nice, easy move, but I want you to focus on your breath. And I want you to focus on your abdominals. 
Exhale, sip up your inner thigh, close your ribs and bring your knees back to the center. We have one more here and we lower. Just allow that head to go to the side if, if it feels good. And then exhale, come back to the center and then lower the heels. Pop your feet hip distance apart. Check in, pubic bone, hip bones on the same level. Fingertips to the base of the skull, elbows in your peripheral vision. Back to that chest lift. Exhaling, you're going to nod your chin, look at your thighs, and you're going to keep deepen if it's available, or maybe you want to stay in that low lift. And I'd like you to stay here, and you're going to pick up your right leg as you lift, and then lower tobal heel and lower the head and chest. We're alternating legs. Exhale, pick up your left leg. Try and bring your knees to your nose, nose to your knees, but make sure your tailbone stays grounded and the lower back, you can feel it on the mat. Breathing out. Push the breath out and lower, tobal heel. And again, exhale. Think of sliding your ribs to meet your hips, pulling your navel down and towards your spine. And again, four more. Breathing out. So each time you're trying to get a little higher, but only if you're not loading the neck. I don't want you to use your neck flexors. I want you to use your upper abdominals. So make sure you're not popping that navel. Think about your breath, exhale as you lift, and then lower, tobal heel. Let's do one more here. And breathing out, and lift, and lower, tobal heel. Now we're gonna add rotation. So pick up your right leg and rotate towards the leg. Then lower, tobal heel, land your head, and then we go to the other side, breathing out. So here I want you to think about not just turning your head, I want you to think about stacking your top shoulder blade on top of your bottom one. So really think about peeling that shoulder blade off the mat. Breathe out and lower down. And again, exhale. We've got four more and tobal heel. And then three, breathing out and lower down. Two more. Make sure that neck's not taking the load and tobal heel. Last one and breathing out and then lower down. Just take a moment, shake your head from side to side if you're feeling that neck, because we're doing it again. So exhaling, we're gonna curl up. Just give me a chest lift, and then lower down. Let's do three more of these. Breathing out, so think about your posture here. Make sure you're not pulling on that neck. Two more, exhale. And then lower down. Last one. Breathing out, I gaze towards your thighs. And now let's add the leg lift. Right leg and lift. And then lower, tobal heel. And then the left, breathing out. Navel to spine. And two more. And exhale. And lower, tobal heel. Last one. And now let's add the rotation. Reaching armpit towards the knee, breathe out. Tobal heel. And then the other side. And tobal heel. Two more, make sure you're not using that neck. Nice, simple moves to help you connect. Connecting to the abdominals, connecting to the breath. Last round, let's go. Just the chest lift, breathe out. Elbows in your peripheral vision. Three more, breathing out. Navel to spine. Last two. Remember, you're not interlinking those fingers. Just let your head relax. And then two more. And then lower. Last one. Breathing out. Now let's add the knee lift. Right leg. So deepening that lift if you can without compromising your technique. Two more. Last one. Breathing out. Ready to add the rotation, right leg. Armpit towards the knee. Make sure the back of the hips are staying on the mat and just release that tension in the neck as you lower head in the center. Last two. Breathing out. Really feel those oblique muscles. Last one. And lower back down. Beautiful. Hug your thighs in towards your chest and just Roll your head from side to side to release that neck. I'd like you to nod your chin. One rock, use your abs. Second rock, come all the way up. 
Beautiful. So it should be feeling a little bit warmer now. Scoot to the edge of your mat. We're going to do a little bit of rolling. So pick up your front leg, then your other one. Now here we have a lifted chest, a rounded lower back. I'd like you to try and bring your heels to the seat of your butt. We've already connected to those hamstrings. You want to use your hamstrings to draw the heels in. Place your inside of your elbows to the outside edge of your knees and push your knees together. Make sure you're not here. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. And I'd like you to nod your chin slightly, looking at your navel. So we have a rounded spine. We're going to inhale, roll back to the top of your back. Exhale, roll forward and keep your toes off. Try not to flick the feet. Let's go again. Breathing in and breathing out. So this is all about control and precision. Think about your abs. Think about your breath. And again, inhale. Heels to the seat and exhale. Keep looking at your navel and try and keep your toes off. Let's try for three more. Breathe in and breathe out. Keeping your body as tight as you can. Drop your shoulders. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Keep driving the heels to the seat. We have one more. Breathing in. And breathing out. And hold it here. Lift your eye gaze. Drop your shoulders. And lower your feet. Beautiful, guys. Let's take the legs long. So pulling up your toes. Now, if you struggle with length here, grab a cushion. Sit on your cushion, and that's going to give you the lift you need to get the length, right? Otherwise, you're staying on your mat. Pull your toes up, and we're going to take the arms to the side. Make sure your feet don't shift. Hips need to be level. Now try and bring your sit bones together and let's lift up to the ceiling, relaxing your shoulders. Come to me first, it's a double breath. Exhale. Lift up in the center, grow a little taller. And let's go to the back of the room. And lift up in the center. And again, breathe out. Look at your feet, make sure they stay level. I want you to think of headlamps on your hip bones. This is all about connecting to that waistline. Squeeze your buttocks and let's see if we can go full length. Let go through your shoulders, soften your jaw, breathe out. And back to the center, four more. Exhale, exhale, squeeze your buttocks. And back to the center, last two. Back to the center, one more. Back to the center, let's lift up out of the waist, grow taller, taller, taller. Now reach forward. Reach for your toes, let go through your shoulders, soften your jaw, soften your knees, and slowly rebuild your vertebra, bone by bone. And the last thing is your head. Beautiful. Come off your cushion if you're on one, and let's finish off with some side lying. So I'd like you to lay down, line your spine up with the back end of the mat, and bring your toes to the front corner of the mat, and just relax your head on your arm. Just check in with your hips. Make sure you're not going forwards. Make sure you're not going onto your butt cheek. You want to be right on top of that hip. So a good indicator is your big toes should be level. Just let's place the hand on the hip to start. If you need more support, you are here. So let's take a breath in. On the exhale, you're going to engage your buttocks. Engage you in a fine float your legs off. But make sure you haven't done this to get your legs up. Hold. And then you're going to hover your legs just off the floor. Let's go again. Breathing out and lower down. And again, exhale, lift and lower. And make sure you have a little pocket of air between that waistline and the mat. You have four more. Breathing out and lower. Three more. Lift and lower. Last two. And lower. Last one. And lower down. So take your top leg now, hip height, if it's available. You're going to reach your bottom leg towards your top leg, but not if you have to lower your leg to get there. So adjust this leg height as you need, and then lower the bottom leg. If you can, take your arm up. Let's go. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. So here, I want you to feel your inner thigh. And lower. Shoulders relaxed. Lift. And lower. 
breathing out and in. Make sure you stay on top of that hip bone. Two more and I'm feeling my inner thigh. Last one, hold. Stay there. Breathe. Now we're going to swim. In, two, three, four, five, out, two. So this is the tempo. And in, two, three, four, five, out, two. If you need more assistance, you are here. Two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. Legs together. If you haven't lifted your arm yet, try doing it now. And lower down. Beautiful. Bend your knees for me. So I want your knees directly in line with your hips. And I want your shin bones parallel to the floor. Place your hand on your hip. You're going to open that knee, squeezing the buttock. And lower down. So this is our Pilates clam. Make sure, think about your top hip. Make sure it's not rolling back as you lift the leg. You want to initiate your butt to lift. Four more. Do you have a pocket of air between that? lower that waistline and the mat last two last one now we're going to make a circle keeping the leg shape the same we lift up and down so i'm circling my leading with my knee nice easy breath so you should start to feel a bit of a warm fiery feeling through that top glute no back four more and three and two last one let's go the other way Make sure you've changed direction. Nice, easy breath. And you can make the circle as big or small as you want. Four more, but as long as your hips aren't moving. Last two, last one, and relax. Beautiful. Come on up, let's do all of that on the other side. So we're turning around. Line your spine up with the back end of your mat. Bring your toes to the front corner of your mat. And let's check in, hips are stacked, little pocket of air between that waistline and the mat. Hands here for support on your hips. Exhale, we lift. Inhale, we hover. So make sure your lower back isn't loading as you do this. If it is, one leg. Exhale, lift. Inhale, hover. So lots of inner thigh here, lots of glutes. We have three more. Relax your face. Last two, last one, and we lower all the way down. Pick up your top leg. Remember the height you set with the leg is where you want to stay. Bottom leg reaches up and hovers. Squeeze. So it's the inner thigh I'm looking for here. Little pocket of air between that waistline. Relax your jaw. Soften your face. Four more. Breathing out and in. And three. Last two, last one, and lift. If it's available, lift your arm. We're gonna swim. In, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. In, hips are still. And out, two, three. Keep it slow, my tempo, last 10. Two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. Hold it here and lower. Bend your knees. You remember you want your knees in line with your hips. Shin bones parallel to the floor. Hand on your hip and you want that pocket of air. We open and close the door with the knee. Squeeze the butt to initiate that move. Look at your hips. Are they level? Exhale, open. Inhale, lower. Beautiful. Let's do four more here. Open and close. Last three. Two more. Squeeze the butt. Last one. Now we're going to do those circles around. Keeping the knee bent. Think about circling by leading with the knee. Look at your hips, guys. They need to be still. Four more. Four. Pocket of air. Three. Two more. Last one. And now I'd like you to change the direction. Make, make, remember that circle could be as big or small as you want. Let's do four more. Four, three, two, and one, and lower down. Beautiful. We're just going to finish off with some spinal extension. So lay down on your stomach. 
I'd like you to cross your hands and I'd like you to lower your forehead. So let's take a breath in, lift your navel up and then squeeze your buttocks. Exhale, float your chest off. Keep your forehead glued to your hands. Breathe in, pause, exhale and release down. Four more. Inhale, navel up and in. Exhale, chest lifts. Keep your hand, hands glued to your forehead. Breathe in, feet are grounded and lower down. Three more. Navel up and in. Don't make sure the belly doesn't touch, the belly button doesn't touch the mat. Exhale. Use your back extensors to lift, not your lower back. Breathe in, not your neck. And repeat it down. Last two. Inhale, navel up and in. Exhale, lift. Inhale, pause. Exhale, lower. This is your last one. Feet are grounded. Navel up and in. Exhale, lift. Inhale, pause. Exhale, lower. Beautiful. Hands underneath your chest. Let's press back child's pose. Knees are wide. Elbows onto the mat. Allow your chest to fall through your arms. And let's breathe. So just let go wherever you feel the tension in your body. Soften your jaw. Relax your face. And connect to your breath. In and out. On your next exhale, tuck your tailbone under and slowly rebuild, bone by bone. And the last thing is your head. Beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed day one. I'm really excited to bring you the rest. And as usual, as um, normal, I'd love to hear your comments. A big hello from Dolce. I'm sure you've got lots of little uh, furry babies at home. Keep positive, keep healthy guys, and I'll see you on day two. Bye for now.